Hello guys, during my first Twitch stream, user RobinD90 requested that I do some VOD reviews. I think this is a great idea, and I hope to continue doing them. RobinD90 submitted a VOD to me shortly after. Anyway, let's begin. Unless you knew someone was hiding in that building, I'm not sure why you'd send an orb here. Make sure your orbs get at least some use. There was no guarantee here that you would benefit from that orb. Moira's Biotic Grasp leaves a lingering healing effect for 16.66 heals per second, for 3 seconds. I usually always buffer my allies right before leaving spawn with a quick spray of Biotic Grasp so that if they do take damage right out of spawn, they'll already be healed without me having to do anything. Your Ryan got hit by a fire strike and you left Mercy to heal him up. That's fine, but I would have given him at least a small touch of Fire the Grasp to heal him as he took damage. I'd also recommend that the moment you saw the damage coming toward him, give him a small healing buffer with Fire the Grasp. These small things might not seem that important, but they do charge your ult faster, which will add up quickly. Looks like Enemy Mercy is having some issues. You should keep track of your teammates' abilities as well as the enemies. Knowing your tracer had recall would have reminded you that your healing orb would have likely have been wasted here. By the time healing orb arrived, tracer would have definitely used recall. Very nice healing orb here. The angle is good. Slightly downward will keep the orb in use longer. Once you saw your Ryan charge in, you should have faded around to the right side of him and you definitely would have been able to save him. I say right side because your McCree would have been right behind you and there would have been minimal risk of dying yourself. Take more time aiming your orbs. This was a good spot to use damage orb for some ult charge, but you missed the opening. Your pulse healing is really good. I noticed it before, I thought it was worth mentioning here. Nice, you took the time to aim this damage orb. I would suggest taking even longer. When you fire an orb through a doorway, fire it at the most plausible spot you expect to see an enemy. In this case, it would be the bottom right corner. Precision with orbs is something I still have trouble with, but it is really important for getting your ult charge that much faster. Nice orb placement here. You left the orb to bounce back to the objective. The moment you saw yourself being frozen, you used Fade. I think you would have been able to just walk out of the blizzard without using Fade here. Not to mention that Fade could have saved you after you became stuck in the Junkrat trap afterwards. Try to get down the fade into jump combo so that you can return to your team faster. The moment you saw those grenades coming toward you, you should have stepped back and evaded them with strafing. They caught you from underneath the payload. 
but you definitely saw them coming and had enough time to react. I think you probably know what I'm going to say here. You faded despite having the sound information that the tire was not near you yet. You most likely would have baited the tire if you had saved fade for when it got close. Right now, you have ult and an orb. The enemy is also down a few people. I would go for an offensive coalescence orb combo to clear out the stragglers. So pretty much any time from my last comment until now would have been a good time to use your ult. Don't always save ult for the best possible time, sometimes it's worth ulting just to get the payload to the objective faster. This was a good time to ult, but you had orb up and didn't use it in combination with your coalescence. You should have been a little bit more aggressive. Wait until Hog's hook was down and push using Fade to the right doorway near the demeching diva. Then use your ult and damage orb combo. Once Reaper used Wraith form, you still followed him with your beam. This effectively wasted your ult which you should have redirected to the enemy frontline. So you tried to throw a healing orb through a wall. I'm not sure what other use this healing orb would have had. This just ties into spending a little bit more time setting up your orbs before you throw them. Right idea, but you just need to be a little more aggressive to pull it off. If you step forward past the car, that diva would have been an easy kill, but it seems you have this notion that you have to stay a little bit farther back. The moment your mercy was hooked, you should have switched to healing her. Hook does damage. If you healed her, that damage would be negated, forcing the hog to have to land a perfect shot or fail the combo. You could have easily saved your mercy here.
It almost seemed like the Junkrat was waiting for you to use your Fade. Regardless, you should have used Fade the moment Tyra was in range to kill you. Damage order would have been better here. No one was in need of healing and you had full resource. Classic Reinhardt. <laughs> So generally when Hog ults, he tanks a ton of damage. Get in the habit of pocketing Hog during his ult. Only Anna or Moira can usually sustain a Hog through his ultimate since he is focused pretty hard in most cases. You are too close to this Reaper. You're very lucky you didn't die here. You should have faded away the moment you had the chance. You had orb up in two seconds. You should have waited for it to do a combo. I know you didn't ult reactively for your mercy being hooked because you ulted before she got hooked. After your mercy died, you seemed kind of confused as for who to target. Could have been a lag spike though. Since trance was up on the enemy, just focus on keeping teammates alive and don't worry about damage. This fade was far too late. That hog could have easily killed you. Once you are caught by a stun ability, hold the fade button down so that you use the ability the moment you are released from the stun. Also, healing orb would have been a smarter choice here given you were at 30 HP, one melee away from dying. I'll probably go over this a lot of times in the video, but just remember to use fade into jump to get to your teammates faster. Take more time to aim your orbs. This tip seems like a common one. You should have faded to escape and you might have been able to heal your team. You should have also thrown a healing orb in your direction of retreat. I believe you could have saved your mercy. Another instance where you should be using fade into jump. Map awareness problem here. You are in overtime and there's only one on the cart. You should have gone through the tunnel on the left. Also, fade into jump. This fight seemed pretty lost. I don't think there was much else you could do here. Nice try with the early orb here. I'd recommend firing it from a spot the enemy won't expect as Diva can eat it up quite easily. Unless you don't have a lot of time, try to find some sneaky angles. Nice orb here. I would try to launch it next time parallel to the ground so that it comes back along the balcony instead of coming back at a slightly upward angle.
You just walked in a straight line directly in front of the enemy Hanzo. That is usually a death sentence. You have a little room to be more aggressive here. Unless you're being hard focused, try and get some kills. No need for an orb here, you have your ult and it's probably worth saving an orb for when the enemy makes a push. You should have been more aware that your mercy was being focused. She was very low and you did not turn around to heal her. The opposing Moira actually used coalescence to try and finish off the kill. You can now heal that. Peeling for your healers is what wins you a lot of games. Wrong target prioritization here. You should have focused your ult on Defera, who is taking a lot of damage. Her damage output is insane during ult, if she can survive using it. You should have also turned on the McCree, who very audibly used ult to your right side, instead of continuing to whittle down the enemy tanks. Here's the first time I'll mention that with better aim, you would have been able to secure that kill. It seems like your team forgot about the McCree that was launched behind you. While you had to assist your frontline, you should have been actively figuring out where that McCree went. It should not have been a surprise when he killed you here. I'm not sure there's much you could have done here to take over the point. The enemy team had a lot more ult than your team did. I'll say it again, use fade into jump.
This should have been expected and avoided with Fade. Keep track of ults and realize that their run had not used ult the last two fights. Before every engagement, try and recall what enemy ults were used and think about where they might be given how aggressive the enemy was. You use damage orb while you already had coalescence and there's no way that was going to help you secure a kill. You should have saved the orb from before and used fade to back up and use ult combo on the advancing enemy team. Another instance where you should use fade into jump to return to your team faster. You could have ulted sooner here. Nice job focusing a single target, but I feel that you focused the wrong one. The enemy Moira had just used Fade, so she was a much better target. Also, she gained ult charge from healing the Rhine who you were trying to kill. Remember to combo your ult with an orb whenever possible. Nice dodge there. Close one. <laughs> I like this ult. You went for it the moment you got it. I like to see aggressive plays like that. You should have used it with damage orb though. This either means anticipating that you're going to have ult soon and not using an orb or waiting for orb to come back off cooldown. Nice prioritization of the rip tire. It's actually pretty surprising how fast Moira's ult can take down a tire. You should have thrown a damage orb up at the McCree to kill him faster. This would have saved your Reinhardt. I feel you held on to fade way too long here. There were a few times where you needed to reposition to secure your safety, but you still stayed in the middle of the road. If 
fading to jump. Overall, you did very well. I'm most impressed by your ability to manage your healing resource and your positioning. You need to work on orbs a little bit. You must take more time aiming them and make sure you're using them at a good time. Your aim could use some work, and you'd be able to secure more kills if you spent more time working on aim. I feel that while your positioning is good, you can afford to be more aggressive. You tend to hold on to your ult too long. Instead of holding on to it, go for big plays to knock the enemy back and make sure to combo it with a damage orb. Thanks for the submission, and I hope this helps you win more games. If there's an interest for more bot reviews, please let me know in the comments, and if you want to see me review your game, provide me with a link in the comments section of this video, or submit it to the Moira Mains Discord channel where you can find and DM me from the member list. Thanks for watching!